He is known as Mr. Corvette and father of the Performance Corvette. And the car itself has even been dubbed the Mark of Zora. Zora Arcus Duntoff wasn't directly involved with the legendary Corvette until 1956, three years after it was introduced. But he saw the car when it was shown to the public for the first time at New York's Waldorf Astoria. Though he considered the car the prettiest he had ever seen, he was distressed when he raised the fiberglass hood and found a standard six-cylinder engine and two-speed automatic transmission. But he thought the Corvette had possibilities, and it wasn't long before he proved just that. Zora joined the Chevrolet division of General Motors later that same year and quickly transformed the Corvette from a rather mundane vehicle into a true sports car with a bigger engine, Rochester fuel injection, a four-speed manual transmission, and his Duntoff camshaft. When he retired from General Motors in 1975, he had developed a machine that was voted best all-around car in the world regardless of price in polls taken by Car and Driver magazine in the years 1967 through 1971. But the Corvette wasn't Zora's only contribution to automotive history. During his early European engineering career, he designed a supercharger that appeared on numerous small cars throughout Central Europe. He designed the Arden cylinder head for the Ford flathead V8 engine. This conversion head boosted the rated horsepower of that 150 horsepower engine by 50%. Zora was also a great driver. He twice won class honors at Le Mans, set a record for the Pikes Peak climb, and broke the flying mile record at Daytona. The Automotive Hall of Fame is privileged to induct Zora Arcus Duntoff, the man who made a car a legend and in doing so became a legend himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Zora Arcus Duntoff.